beautiful to see a room so full of energy and smiling faces. What a show of strength and growth. We can truly say, Am Yisrael Chai. At a time when organizations are struggling and temples are merging, it's inspiring to come together as a congregation and celebrate our growth and the commitment of a few important people who've contributed of their time, money, and friendship to get us where we are today. So what is the secret of the success? Why is every major Jewish organization trying to emulate Chabad and learn from this movement about Jewish community, activism, and success? And why, as you look around this room, do we see such a cross-section of the community represented it? Why are we all here to support this cause? In essence, what is Chabad? The previous Chabad Rebbe, Rabbi Joseph Schneerson, who brought Chabad Lubavitch to America, once recalled a thought-provoking conversation between his father, Reb Shalom Dovber, and a student of his. His student asked, Rebbe, what is a chassid? Who is considered one of your followers? Reb Shalom Dovber answered, a chassid is a street lamplighter. A street lamplighter has a pole with fire. He knows that the fire is not his own, and he goes around lighting all the lamps on his route. The student asked for clarification. But what if the lamp is in the wilderness? The rabbi answered, then too, one must light it. He must travel to the depths of the desolate area to light the lamp. But what if the lamp is in the midst of a sea? Then one must take off their clothes, jump into the water, and light it there. And that's a chassid? The Rebbe thought for a long moment and then said, yes, that is a chassid. That is someone who represents the Chabad ideals. The chassid continued, Rebbe, I see no lamps. The Rebbe looked him in the eyes and said, the lamps are there. You must work on yourself until you see them. And here we are, 200 years later, recommitting to that same cause. Chabad has committed to travel to the wilderness, the wild west of the world, to light the lamp. Chabad has committed to remove the luxuries of life, to light the lamp. Chabad has committed to search out every potential wick and make sure that he or she is lit. And if we don't see the lamp, meaning we don't see potential in every individual, then that means we just have to try harder, be more engaging, give more friendship, serve more chicken soup, because ultimately every single person is a lamp waiting to be lit. So tonight is both a time to reflect on our past growth and accomplishments to be excited about the hundreds and hundreds of people we've inspired for the good, and to thank those who made it happen. But even more important, it is the recommitment to the mission of reaching every individual, every lamp, every child, every adult, to give them the opportunity to be inspired and touched by our rich heritage. And to that, we have to lift our glasses and say L'chaim. While talking about this corner of the world, let me say this to you. My dear community, it's been six years since you opened, our arm, opened your arms, shown us deep care and concern, and have opened your doors to us. Tonight, it's my pleasure to introduce our family and thank them for all our, for all their support and love. Thank you. And now a word to my husband, Mendy. You're my inspiration, my mentor, and my best friend. You've taught me how to always find the good in each person. 
Your non-judgmental attitude has played such an important role in the lives of so many people. You're the one to turn to. You're the one that our children have the best tati anyone can ask for. You made our family who we are, and you made our shul what it is. May God give you the strength to continue being a lamplighter and light every single lamp. It is, ladies and gentlemen, our responsibility to constantly involve the next generation, for they are our future. Even the smallest child has the ability to accomplish the greatest things when just given a chance. It is at this time my great pleasure to begin the evening by calling up one of the students of the Chabad Hebrew School, Sabrina Holzberg, to lead with us a chapter of Psalms in honor of peace, in the Holy Land, the land of Israel, followed by a mitzvah, the giving of charity. Please rise. on the day of dis distress. May you be fortified strongly by the name of the God of Jacob. May he dispatch your assistance from the sanctuary and may he support you from Zion. May he remember all your meal offerings and may he favor favorably accept your burnt sacrifices, Selah. 
May he grant you your heart's desire and may he validate your advice. May we sing for joy at your salvation and raise our banner in the name of our God. May Hashem fulfill all your requests. Now I know that Hashem has saved his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with his saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and others in horses, but we will call out in, our name of, in the name of Hashem, our God. They reel and fall over, but we stand up in courage. Hashem, save us. May the king answer us on the day we call. Please be seated. Why do I love Chabad so much? Well, the answer is because Chabad Hebrew School and Chabad services are so much fun. While everyone's complaining about going to Hebrew School, I'm jumping with joy. Of course, Chabad Hebrew School teachers are what makes it so cool. And it was so cool that I had made a movie about it. So ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and enjoy my movie. Ooh, okay. 